hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will cover the topic how to improve your wi-fi performance so i'll just give you five tips to improve the wi-fi performance so let's start it so the tip number one to improve your Wi-Fi performance is adjust your channel frequency. To do that, you have to scan the RF environment on each of the access point which is adopted on that side. So uh, you can do the RF scanning by uh, clicking on that access point. Go to the inside. You see the RF environment options. Scan the channels for 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz. During RF scanning, the AP will be offline for 5 minutes and all of the clients which are connected to that access point will be disconnected. So the try to do the scannings when there are no clients connected on the network. By RF scanning, you will be able to know your uh, um, nearby channel interference. Is there any noisy channel? So you can avoid those channels for 2.4 as well as uh, 5 gigahertz uh, channel um, band and you can uh, select the manual channel under the 2.4 gigahertz uh, as well as the 5 gigahertz radio also try to make sure you don't use the same channel as your nearby ap and always make sure uh, for 2.4 gigahertz you are using only three non overlapping channel like 1 6 and 11 and if you don't want to scan the channel manually and you do uh, you want the controller to scan your channel and choose the best uh, wi-fi channels automatically there is one settings under the uh, uh, controller if you click on the settings click on the wi-fi global ap settings you will see the optimized channels options so uh, you can optimize and it, it will automatically select channel for each ap for best wi-fi performance so you can use these options to optimize your ch Wi-Fi channels. Tip number two is adjust your channel width. This is the most important thing to improve the Wi-Fi performance. Uh, you can set the channel width on each of the Wi-Fi bands, uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio as well as the 5 gigahertz radio. So the 20 megahertz channel, which you see on the 2.4 gigahertz is uh, the base channel width, which is mostly used on the 2.4 gigahertz radio as it does not have enough space to utilize the 40 megahertz channel and the other uh, channel with like 40 80 and 6 160 megahertz is mostly used on 5 gigahertz and the 6 gigahertz band due to the wide spectrum channel uh, mostly used are 40 uh, 40 megahertz and 80 megahertz uh, and 160 megahertz is uh, used on some client uh, which also requires a dfs channel so if you want to obtain higher throughput and better speed you can set the channel width on 40 uh, either on 40 80 or 160 megahertz on the 5 gigahertz radio so mostly used on 5 gigahertz and the 6 gigahertz band you can set the channel width on each of the ap manually or you can set under the global wi-fi ap settings you can set the channel width on 2.4 gigahertz radio as well as a 5 gigahertz radio even if you don't want to uh, um, I, might, um, I mean uh, use the channel with uh, through the global ap settings you can exclude the ap under the ap exclusion so the tip number three is adjust your transmit power you can adjust the transmit power manually on each of that access point under the settings of the radios you can set for 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz radio or you can even set on the global wi-fi settings you can set the tra transmit power for 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz radio so so the transmit power depend on the uh ap models what dbm value it has either for 2.4 or 5 or 6 gigahertz as you can see i have a u6 slide so the transmit power uh, is will be different as compared to the u6 slide you can check the 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz as compared to the uac like the transmit power difference you see 20 dbm 23 dbm so you can either set the transmit power manually or you can set under the global ap setting as you know the 2.4 gigahertz channel range uh, is a longer distance as compared to the 5 gigahertz band because it penetrate walls trees etc which is why uh 2.4 gigahertz is a uh, 
ट्रांसमिट पावर इज मोस्टली यूज फॉर बेटर सिग्नल रेंज एज कम्पेयर टू फाइव गिगर्ट्स रेंज फाइव गिगर्ट्स चैनल रेंज इज वेरी पुअर एज कम्पेयर टू द टू पॉइंट फोर गिगर्ट्स एज इट गेट एट इनवेट मोस्ट लाइकली सो ऑन योर डेंस नेटवर्क इफ यू हैव अ डेंस नेटवर्क इफ मल्टीपल ए पीज यू कैन सेट द चैनल मैनुअली ऑन फाइव गिगर्ट्स and uh, set the tx power either uh, high or medium for the 5 gigahertz channel if you don't want to tweak any setting and uh, on the on your wifi networks on the each of the radios you can set each of the settings like a transmit power on the auto uh, to get the better result but if you have any wifi network issues you can adjust the, the transmit power on each of that access point uh, to get the better and improve results so uh for better recommendations if you have a multiple aps or dense network uh i would suggest to use the global wifi settings you can set the tx power uh, on the 2.4 gigahertz on low and the uh, 5 gigahertz on the tx power on high uh, by applying the changes and uh, you will see the improvement on the ap and uh, wifi clients which is connecting to the ap this is how uh you can improve the wifi performance on the dp when adjusting the transmit power so the tip number 4 is adjust minimum rssi minimum rssi is the best feature where you can set the threshold value on the ap radio on each 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz radio uh you will get a scale when you select the minimum rssi option on 2.4 you can set the dbm value which will be the threshold value for that access point 2.4 gigahertz radio even you can set on the 5 gigahertz radio so the minimum rssi is very useful whenever a client is connected to the farthest ap which has a weak signal and the client is getting continuously drop of wifi connection so if we set the value dbm value uh, on the minimum rssi uh, on the threshold value the client uh, will be kicked from that access uh, point and it will connect to the nearby ap which has a strong signal so using the minimum rssi value will help your wifi improvement and the wifi roaming uh, when the clients move from one ap to the other ap so uh, you can for the testing purpose you can set on the minus 71 uh, 70 dbm value and uh, have a test on your network this will improve the wifi uh, performance on that uh, access point to the wifi client so the final tip tip number 5 is uh, band sharing you can adjust the band sharing on each ap settings so uh, which will improve the wifi performance so band sharing options you will see under the ap settings you can either set to off or prefer 5 gigahertz or set to balanced when you set to off the ap does not encourage the client to connect to 5 gigahertz as 2.4 gigahertz as better signal and the uh, longer range signal rssi that that is why the client will be connecting to the 2.4 gigahertz when you prefer 5 gigahertz uh the client will be connected to the nearby ap uh, 5 gigahertz signal uh, which has a better signal range and when you set to balance it will either uh, connect to the 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz depending on the channel interference and the signal strength so this option is very useful uh, in your uh, ap wifi improvement you can either set the band sharing on each ap radios or you can set under the wifi settings under the band sharing options you can choose the band sharing it will either steer to 5 gigahertz or set to off so my final thought on this video five tips to improve the unify wifi performance so uh, utilizing uh, and optimizing your unify wifi network is very essential part to achieve peak performance and reliability and you can start it by conducting a site survey uh, and determine the best placement for that access point and you have to pay attention for uh, some factors like uh, signal strength interference try to uh, minimize the interference and maximize the coverage and make sure you use the features such as band sharing airtime fairness to improve the overall wifi 
performance and ensure efficient device connections so yeah if you like this video please hit like and share and please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions you can drop down your comments thanks for watching bye for more info about unify wi-fi optimization click the link in the description